Hey guys, how's it going? It's Monk, back with another video. Sorry this one took a little while to come out. I've been a little busy with college and midterms, but I promise you guys this is going to be a banger video. Playing in this beauty. It's a Brawl Atlas, and um, in my opinion, I think it's the strongest Brawl mech in the game. Like, by far. It's just super good. This is the build. Double snub, AC24, SRM 6s. I've seen different variations of this build run. I see... Sometimes people run one snub, which is fine. You get better cooling, better, like, bigger engine or whatever, maybe standard. But it's, like, at range, the mech's kind of, like, used. you're going to always want to be an optimal. But if you're not, like, you have two snubs in AC20, which is, like, 40 damage. It's a very good amount of damage, even though you're at range. So you're not forced to be within, like, 100 meters of them. So it's good for poking. Another variation I'll see is one AC24, some six with Artemis. Don't do that. That is so useless like you're just losing so much damage in range like and you're basically forcing yourself to go within 100 meters of every single fight or else you're just fucking useless um like i mentioned before it is a light engine so do not get halved it's very important with this build to be twisting like you you will not believe how many atlases i see who will just take their mech and run in the open receiving fire from six people no twisting and then they just die in three seconds like it's the stupidest shit ever make sure you twist don't blind like brain deadly run out and you're gonna be dishing out like minimum 900 damage every single game it's it's crazy minimum build um max cooldown this is just like get my two shots in quicker you'll see with this build like you can almost have most mechs in the game with just two shots with this build like torso sometimes like it wasn't this game a sun spider Fresh Sun Spider, I killed at CT in two shots. Like, just and you, the cooldown helps you just dish out that damage much quicker. Yeah, you're gonna be hot, but the mech is hot, and that's just how it is. Like, <laughs> there's no, there's no going around that. You're, the whole point: you go, shoot, twist, shoot, twist, back up. That's it. And you just do that over and over again. It's, it's not a full, full send Russian build. It doesn't have that sustained heat. You just go in, delete a mech, get your heat back, and just on repeat the whole game you'll see in this upcoming game is exactly what i did um max heat gen you're gonna need that velocity more ammo more ammo and spread um survival max armor of course speed tweak i didn't find a spot for it if you think it's too hot like speed tweak's always useful you could remove cooldown going to speed tweak um but it's up to you i would recommend seismic and max derp especially on a brawl mech i think it's important so yeah, just max armor, max cooling. Some people don't like heat containment, but if it's a hot mech, I always take it. I don't know. Seismic, one, two, if you want to. Two seismic on a brawl mech is never bad. So if you find three points, you could always just like do that. If you want double seismic. But me, I just want pure damage. Like So I just go full heat containment. Max derp, and then cool shot with cool shot cooldown. I know I didn't include this in the last video. That was a mistake. On any hot mech, you're going to want cool shot cooldown, especially after the nerf. It was an old build, old skill tree, so didn't really update that. And then uh, I run a strike. UAV is probably better, but if you're trying to farm damage, like a strike can sometimes get you an extra 100 damage. So I just, that's the sole reason I run it. In general, UAV is probably better. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the build and skills. And I will see you guys in the match. Don't forget your target locked. Target acquired. New target Don't acquired. Don't forget your lunch before you go to school, honey. Target spotted. Drop the UAV in the back line. Done. Target acquired. We're like spreading out here. Need it's assistance. not the best. We need assistance with Monk. Target acquired. Target spotted. New target acquired. New target acquired. Need assistance. Work and Charlie need help. Affirmative. Oh, uh, they legged me. Rest in peace.
Rifleman's got a really weak right torso. Oh shit, Nightstar and Warhawk Delta acquired. 5 up top, above us. Fresh, I think. What's with the heavy game? Mock me, it's all assault. Mock target, put the target to data. Reminder, Nighthawk and, um, or Nightstar Warhawk up top. Um, that's a choice. Right torso on Scorch, I'm going for him. He's mine! Target destroyed. New target acquired. Delta. We're going left torso. No! Oh my god, please. Heat level critical. Holy shit, my left leg. New target acquired. Target acquired. Oh my god, somebody can like breathe on my leg and I'm dead. Jesus Christ. New target acquired. Five or six assaults on their team. Oh, I'm gonna get these guys in the back. Oh, it's not gonna matter. Target spotted. Target there. Target acquired. New target acquired. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Command is happy 
It's so over. And now just for a quick analysis of how the game went down. It was not a terribly too com complicated game. It was pretty basic what happened. So usually what you're going to see on Rubelite is um, like 99% of fights are going to happen on these two platforms, like both above and below. And what you also commonly see is um, a lot of traders setting up here and here. And then a lot of traders setting up here. Because they're just good overwatch spots you can see a lot. How this game went down, I was in Charlie, Team 2. And um, as I'm pushing up here, I notice a lot of a lot of my whole lance doesn't want to go up on the platform, and then the guys from Alpha and Bravo they move up to this stage, and I was like a marauder here, so like on the low ground. So it's very obvious we're gonna probably play this game more low ground rather than high ground, just because no one wanted to go up high on these platforms, and then that's fine in this in this mech specifically. The low ground is very good because Rubelite low ground there's a lot of corners. It's a very narrow passageway. And you can just peek out a corner, shoot, peek out a corner, shoot, and you can just finish them all off in optimal. So yeah, Marauder was here, and he called for help eventually because he noticed some people pushing down here. And I'm like, okay, perfect. I want to get there. I don't know how many are in the push. I just know they're pushing. It could be their whole team. It could be three people. You don't know. So I wanted to get to this spot before they pushed out here because I want the fight to be in this in this like corridor rather than like over here. Um. So yeah. I pushed with the Marauder, and then I asked for help too, just to make sure like the guys who were with me over here would follow me into this corridor. And eventually, there were like four of us, and we were able to just like slowly kill them off one by one. It was like the Rifleman first, then the Thanatos Bushwhacker, and the Direwolf Sun Spider, and it was just this very slow wrap up here. And once there was like nothing, you come back in a circle. We killed like that Direwolf, the Phoenix Hawk, and the Night Star like up here, and then the Black Knight. So yeah, it's really important. You know, I, I was it wasn't just the typical oh it was just let's just all center mechs and then I was like a very strategic slow push. It was just okay, peak shoot, peak shoot, and then you just slowly take them all out rather than just sending your mech in there and no twisting, just fucking killing yourself in two seconds, like it's no point. Um but yeah, that's pretty much how you want to play the mech. It's just use your team, twist, don't full send it. That's it. A thousand damage easily. So yeah, that's it for now from me. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. See you.